Hello my loves, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics, and I'm here with you guys today with a new video. Today's video was low-key highly requested. In today's video, we will be reviewing the new Urban Decay Face Balm Foundation. If you guys watched my Sephora in-store shopping experience vlog, you guys saw that I purchased the Urban Decay Face Balm Foundation, and a few of you guys were like, girl, we need a review. Ask and you shall receive, okay? So in today's video, I'll be sharing my first impressions, a demo, and a weird test of the new Urban Decay Face Balm Foundation. I will be giving you guys my honest opinion as to if you should pick it up, you should pass on it, what is it given? I'm going to answer all of those questions in today's video. So before we get started with today's video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that red subscribe button down below and join the family because we're doing big things over here, period. <laughs> Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy. Drop a comment down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So this is the new Urban Decay Face Bond Self-Setting Waterproof Foundation. This foundation retails for $40 and is now available in 40 shades. The claims of this foundation include having a matte finish, being non-comedogenic, good for redness, acne, blemishes, and dark spots. It claims to have medium to buildable coverage, and it also claims to be good for all skin types. This foundation, y'all, is a big thing. It low-key has a potential to be groundbreaking if it works. So this foundation also claims to be a three-in-one. It has three unique aspects to it, one of them being a serum. This foundation is formulated with 3% niacinamide, and it claims to be able to improve your skin's texture in four weeks and also help with the appearance of redness, dark spots, pores, blemishes. So we're gonna test that over time. It also claims to be a 24 hour waterproof foundation. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I've ever been or will be in a place to be wearing a foundation for 24 hours. But either way, it does claim to be long wearing. And it also kind of has like a setting powder, if you will, included in it, because it does claim to be self setting. So we are gonna put this to the test. I'm super excited. I'm gonna move up so y'all can see what I'm doing. So hopefully I am close enough for you guys to see what is going on. So here is my skin. I do have acne prone skin. So in general, when it comes to makeup products, I only use products that are non-comedogenic, which means that they don't have any clog pouring ingredients in them. And it's going to essentially help with your skin because you're not gonna experience breakouts. Oils and products and fragrances and products is essentially what causes us to break out when it comes to wearing makeup if you have acneic skin. So I do have some dark spots and some hyperpigmentation. So we're gonna see how this foundation performs on it. So first off, I'm gonna start off by priming my face using my Milk Makeup Cloud Glow Primer. I have been obsessed with this thing right here obsessed when i say obsessed believe it obsessed with this primer right here it's so freaking good this foundation claims to be mattifying and i don't mind a matte look but i don't need my skin feeling dry so i'm gonna go ahead and prime using milk makeup mm, skin is looking real good and sidebar y'all that dermalogica Power Bright Dark Spot Peel that I've been using. If you guys didn't see my whole video about it, I'll link it up above, but that literally has been transforming my skin. If you guys have been watching my videos, video after video, you guys are seeing a difference in the appearance of my skin. Like my skin is glowier, it's brighter, dark spots are fading, but hopefully with this foundation too, we could really be on something. I do have this foundation in the shade 29 medium deep neutral. So I did try 39, 29 and I also tried, I believe 33 in store. The 33 was too dark for me and the 29 seemed to be a good match. So usually when it comes to the complexion steps of my makeup, I usually like conceal my dark spots. But today we really wanna see what the foundation is working with. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip that step and get straight into the good first of all i love the applicator of this foundation because it literally just like squirts out and you just put it on your face i'm not gonna actually put the tip on my face because girl don't be doing that okay don't be doing that because that is not hygienic 
So I'm gonna go ahead and distribute the product on one side of my face so we can compare it to the other side. So let's see. I don't know how much of this I should be using. So I'm gonna start off with that much. And I'm gonna use my Morphe E63 brush to blend the foundation out. Hmm. Okay, I'm not 100% sold on this color match, but maybe it'll like oxidize or something. I feel like it's kind of like orangish, even though it does claim to have a neutral undertone. But this is just my first impressions upon application. But coverage wise, it looks good. It looks good. I'm going to do one layer and then once we do the full face i will use another layer to cover my dark spots but that looks kind of good and i'm just gonna put some on my forehead Ooh -ooh. And I should have mentioned at the beginning of this video, I didn't watch any reviews because I really wanted to go into this review with the independent mindset. So if there's any information online that I should know, I don't know because I didn't watch anyone's video. I really wanted to test this out for you guys and just let you guys know my real honest thoughts and opinions. And I'm going to work that down to my neck. So here is my face. This side has no foundation, just primer. And this side has primer and the Urban Decay Face Balm Foundation. So I think it looks good. Like coverage for one layer, I'm feeling it. I'm digging it. I could work with it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the foundation to the left side of my face. Hold on. Yeah, this looks good. This looks very good for one layer of foundation, one layer of a medium coverage foundation on my skin. This looks very good. Like, I'm impressed. Color match, I'm still not 100%, so how do you feel? How do we feel about the color match? How do we feel? I'm not too mad at it. I feel like when I first put it on my face, it was a little like orange slash red, but I feel like now I'm getting like the neutral aspect of it. Maybe it needs to like sit into the skin for a while for you to really see that, but I like it so far. I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and apply another layer on the bottom half of my face where I experience more hyperpigmentation and dark spots just to see how it acts when it's time to build it up. This looks good. It looks good. It looks very good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup as I usually do. I'm not gonna switch anything else up because I really wanna see the performance of this foundation. And I will go ahead and link both this foundation. Cause y'all might need this. Y'all might really, really need this. 
And I'll also link all of the other products that I'm gonna be using to complete my face down below for your ease of reference and also for your ease of shopping. But I also wanted to call out that I'm not going to set this foundation at all. I am gonna put concealer under my eyes and you guys are gonna see me set that because the concealer doesn't claim to be self-setting. Maybe the foundation does. So I will not be caught slipping at all, <laughs> but I'm not gonna set my face as I usually do with my micro smooth powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this face and we'll be back. Hey babes, so I went ahead and finished my face and this is the final makeup look. What do y'all think? What do you guys think? I think it looks really good. The foundation mixes well with other products that I use. The only thing I will say is that I feel like the combination of the foundation and my contour I kind of like mixed red if that makes sense. Going for whenever I use this foundation i'll just use like a powder bronzer i won't use a cream contour or at least not this one because the combination i feel like it kind of gave red i don't know if you guys are really going to be able to see my forehead yeah y'all can see but i feel like it gave red and i'm like it usually doesn't give this so yeah that's the only thing i noted other than that everything looks good everything is nice and dandy i do feel like i like the foundation color match once i like put everything else on when i had it on its own it was kind of throwing me off but when everything came together i feel like it looks good it looks real good so i'm gonna go ahead and wear this foundation for the day or for at least a couple of hours i'll probably have it on for like six hours it's currently 12 21 p.m so I'll be back around like seven o'clock to give you guys my final thoughts and opinions. But here is the makeup look. Hey guys, so I'm back. I went out to run some errands and the time is currently 7.17. So it's been six hours since I put this foundation on, well, the full face on. And I have some thoughts. I have some thoughts. First of all, the face still looks good. The face itself, it still looks good. Still looks good. But we have some things to talk about. But I will say that I'm not too sure about the self-setting functionality of this foundation. Because I don't know if you guys can see. Like I set under my eyes and wherever I put concealer... But everywhere else, I didn't set. And I feel like it kind of looks oily compared to what I'm used to with my normal makeup routine. Let me get a little closer so y'all can see. I got a little closer so you guys can see. But I have some product. Can you guys see? Like the cakeation around my nose. And my forehead is very oily. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to record a video on my phone so you guys can 
really see because I'm not sure how it's coming up on here. I like this foundation. I feel like it stayed in place. I feel like it definitely helped reduce the appearance of my pores as it stated. As far as if it works on like dark spots, acne, the serum aspect of the foundation, it's too early for me to test that out. So I'll give you guys an update on those claims in upcoming videos. So that's why y'all have to be subscribed and your bell notifications have to be turned on. But overall, I like this foundation. I would wear it again. Two things when I wear it again. One, I'm not using this contour. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's bothering you guys, but it's bothering me because I know what my contour usually looks like, especially in person. And I feel like it's kind of red. So as I mentioned before, I would just use a powder bronzer. And two, I would use this more for like, um, like if I don't plan on setting it, just like as a tinted moisturizer, like on an everyday one, two quick face. But if I do plan on using it, in a full beat, I'll have to go ahead and set the foundation because it didn't set itself, at least not for me, at least not within these six hours. So yeah, that's what's tea. But overall, I like this foundation. Do I think you guys should pick it up? Try it out. Try it out and let me know what you guys think. But I think it's an affordable price for $40. As far as the color match, I would recommend going in store because even the shade of the foundation that my color IQ matched me to, that was a 33 shade that was too dark and the 29 actually worked for me. I did grow to love the shade match, so I wanted to give you guys an update on that because I know at first I was like, mm, I don't know about that, I don't know about that, but I found out about it and I like it, so yeah. But comment and let me know what you guys think. I'll go ahead and set my face real quick with you guys just so we can see what it looks like if I did blot or like touch up my makeup. I'm gonna use my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder to kind of like touch up my face. And y'all, they reformulated this, not re, I, they probably reformulated it, but they repackaged it. And I saw reviews on Sephora's website that people were saying the new packaging is faulty. So if you guys wanna get this powder, I highly recommend just get it now. It's on sale for literally $7. Seven cash at Sephora. So I touch up this side of my face. And this side hasn't been touched up, so you can see the difference. Y'all see the difference? Y'all see the difference? Y'all see the difference? This is what my face look like if I were to set it. Comment and let me know, do you guys have this foundation? Do you guys plan on picking it up? What are your thoughts? What is your review if you have tried this foundation out already? She'll be in my rotation. She will be in my rotation this summertime because I like the foundation. It just needs to be set on its own. So that's just my opinion. Those are my thoughts. That's my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on your bell notifications. Give this video a big thumbs up. Comment and let me know what's your favorite part of this video. Do you guys like when I do foundation reviews? Because we could do these more often if y'all like them. But I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next one.